Here's my main problem with people who are basically claiming an afterlife or psychic powers, whatever the case may be, and it's not demonstrable. I mean, that's the key thing. It's uh, wishful on one side, but to make the wishful work, it's not simply me going, I, I, I want to believe, I want to believe. You have to try and say it's some kind of uh, thing that actually exists, but you're making these leaps, you're making these massive leaps, rather than actually working towards confirming these things to exist. So what does it become? It becomes the wishful and the magical. And you might call the magical religious or spiritual or divine or God's will or God's power or whatever the case may be, the ultimate force, the ultimate source, the ultimate energy, universal life force, whatever the case may be, prana, kundalini, chi, ki, etc. Call it what you will. You might call it the, uh, I don't know, the, um, the divine sound that began the universe or the waters from which the universe rises and falls. But whatever the case may be of that firmament, you're simply saying things that are, you know, could be said by anyone, for anything, for anything. Why does this work? Here's what we're going to say about just of why it works. A whole mythology, ancient or modern, we've got a whole mythology to say that our wishful idea works. Here's the mythology to support our wishful idea. We want to believe this. We want to believe that the good people come together after this life where there is no pain. You can do whatever you want. You can go wherever you like. You can live the ultimate existence in the universe. You can even go back and visit your relatives who are alive and help them along. You can become spirit guides. You can do all this wonderful stuff and you can go and explore stuff. You can go and live in a new life. You had a bad life. Hey, you're going to a better life this time but you can go into another bad life and gain even more karma or you can go and do this you can meet god you can meet einstein you can meet christopher fucking hitchens you can don't go and do whatever you want man you can go and do whatever you want i want to believe this i want to accept it i want to believe i want to believe i have wishful wishful ideas and how is it going to work the magical the magical makes it work man the magical makes it work man and how do you know this oh well we've had this magical stuff it's very selected it's very you know Nonsense. Nonsense. I mean, when you see that, when you see how wishful and magical beliefs are, you realise they're not worth investing in. And when it's obvious, when it's extreme, well, you're going to notice, aren't you? Extremely wishful and magical ideas running together, running together, running together. And you notice if you've got half a mind about you, if you're anywhere half near critical. A critical thinker, a sceptic. But when it's more subtle ideas, you might take them on board. When it's ideas that are commonly accepted in society, you may well take them more easily. Radical, ridiculous ideas, that's usually for fringe organisations, cults. But the mainstream, wishful, magical ideas are taken on board by a great many people because they are mainstream. That's all there is to it, really. But when you see that, when you see what it's like, you know what it is, you don't really want to invest in it because you can see where well, you can see what it is. You can tell what it is without any effort, without any need to push. You can see what you're dealing with here. It is something which is wishful and magical. It's magical and wishful. It's, you know, it's, it's simply a question of people wanting to believe what they want to believe. And here's the stuff around it, which makes it seem to be so much more real, more fleshed out. But actually, you're doing nothing rational there. And the magical stuff might well relate to stuff that seems to be evidential. It's argued to be so. It's selected to be so. It's not interpreted in a purely non-biased way. But hey, that's still magical too, right? It's still magical too. You want it to be true. And here's all the reason to say it's true. But it's actually not valid or not, not sufficiently valid as to say is indeed actually supported. So what you're left with is still, essentially, when you boil it down to the bare constituents, to pick through the bones, what do you find? Oh, the same old theme. Wishful, magical. That's it. 